we've, banger, dude. We've yeah. bonded to this song several times together. We've bonded yeah. super hard on yeah. this one, Which guys. is awesome. Three white guys bonding over White Iverson. When I started balling, I was young. young. Think about me when I'm gone. <laughs> He does do that. That's that was cute. good, dude. Yeah, I was no trying problem. to think because I was just singing it. I was like, I can't do it. Started. <laughs> you know how I know how to do that? Oh. Wizard of Oz. Turkey calling. Oh. We've been filming for a really long time. I haven't been able to check my phone. The like feeling kind of wore off. So I'm going to need you to give me some space. Jesus, dude. I like you. That doesn't mean... It's, do it on the phone. <laughs> I need to see the thing. Like, I love you see and I the, cherish uh, our friendship. Uh, 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 gross, 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 gross. That doesn't mean anything Your to you. Your phone's right there. Just hop on it. Dude, I, like, I really bing, do. I love you. Bing, bing. Like, like, like. Bing, bing, bing. I love you like a brother, man. Ah. And I never had a brother. Oh, my God. Can you retweet me or something? Like, something's got to give because <laughs> this is like... Ooh. This has got to... It's taken me a long time it makes to me say very this. uncomfortable. I'm Super grateful for like the time we get to spend together. God. If I can see it on a screen, I might believe it, but I'll at least feel it. I'm gonna post a memoriam post for you. <laughs> like before. Yeah. Before. I'm just gonna post it and then delete it like 20 minutes later. Be like, oops, found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, he was in the kitchen. I just I looked, I thought I looked everywhere. <laughs> I'm asking you, do you know it? You're, oh, my, you just weren't even looking anywhere near me. I know, because I'm trying not to look at your answer. Oh, I'm not going to show you. I know, but you were writing like, you were bleeding a little bit. Here, look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Wait, what the? Where am I? I'm looking directly at you. What are you doing? I knew I took a little too much cat this morning, but <laughs> this is a heavy dose. If I'm literally across the room, I feel like I'm sitting right next to you. Diggy, you're all right. You're not responding. What? I'm not. Riley, it looks like you're trying to say something. Digman, are you okay? Like Your ears are so shiny. They look like little wax buttons. Dude, why are you sweating so much? What the? Dude, please just answer me. Honestly, this is cool with me. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do this and no one can see me. Dignan! Dude, we gotta do a video! Right. <laughs> I kinda like this life a little more than the last one. <laughs> oh, what's up, buddy? Not much. How are you? Are you good? Just you didn't see none of that shit I was doing, right? What are you talking about? Good. <laughs> Tristan says, My words are sharp. They cut you like a cleaver. So dedicated to my work, I give my girl a two weeks notice before I leave her. Oh. Okay. I like the idea of a two week notice in a relationship. Yeah, that's funny. I don't like the self-prophecy of my words are so sharp they cut like a cleaver. That's like a tired rat formula kind of thing. Yeah, it's like you you threw in a filler bar that we've heard a million times just to make it <clears throat> rhyme. Yeah. And there were other options that you could have done there that might have like played into the whole thing. You could have used believer. Or lever. I know I, I prefer to say lever, but people will say lever. Pull the lever. At home, watch an old TV, leave, leave it, it to, to beaver. Call in sick to work, is my girl hot like a fever? See? Perfect. And then that sets up. So dedicated to, well, then you weren't dedicated to your work because you called him <laughs> sick. Never mind. Huh. Maybe it's this huh? whole rapping game's a little tougher. Yeah. Than we imagined it. Hooking up with a thick girl, huh? that's a wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> So dedicated to my work, I give my girl a two weeks notice before I leave her. And <laughs> let me just clear things up. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Got a couple questions. Yeah. She is a receiver. Of penis. <laughs> Your penis. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Which is coincidentally shaped like a football, but we'll talk about that later. And she is uh, thick. Yeah, so she's a wide Got receiver. It. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Like it? No. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you really did like cater this to me. You like it? You know what I mean? I love it. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, easy. That yeah. was directly. How did you so perfectly pick exactly where my nipples were? I didn't like that. Because you're not wearing a shirt and I can just see them? I am wearing a shirt and a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I don't see anything. I see you for who you really are. A naked little boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pause? I don't know what people what? say. It's not I don't know what people say, but like, 
something like the pause on that ayo <laughs> okay great <laughs> all of these songs have been like on my playlist low key it's kind of yeah, like the playlist i made you for sex no yes <laughs> i don't use that one for sex oh uh, for reading I use that one for working out nice no difference really. i don't work out so i don't oh. listen to it okay i started working out a lot recently yeah back legs buys tries <laughs> chest calves feet tries and pecs Okay. And abs. And so how do you split that up amongst you? I don't. Your... I do. I go into the office. That's what I call the gym. <laughs> <laughs> For two hours at a time. And I do max weight, burnout reps, every muscle group until I have to be carried out. That's the only way you know that you got a good workout in is I have a workout partner and they just carry me out on a cot. And, and that's how I'm going to grow all my muscles at the best rate. How often are you able to work out? Twice a day, two hours a day, every muscle group, max weight, burnout reps, <laughs> until you have to be carried out. <laughs> Unlike other bodybuilders and giant muscle men, I do my pre-workout before I go to sleep. <laughs> In order to burn off all the calories, the excess calories from the day. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> How do I sleep? Have No, yeah. that's <laughs> not what I was gonna ask. Robitussin. <laughs> Robitussin, Riley. So Robitussin and pre-workout before you go to bed and then you do two two-hour blocks of every muscle group max weight burnout reps. Correct. Have you been noticing the lack of results? Oh, absolutely. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I didn't know that anything had changed about you look the same. You know what I have noticed, though? What? And this part's interesting. Pain. <laughs> Sure, yeah. I've noticed an incredible <laughs> physical, right? Physical incredible pain. Incredible amount of physical pain. Totally, yeah. Like you want to see how high I can raise my arms? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's it. That's it, huh? That is it. Yeah. Right yeah. there. Yeah. I think I could have told you that this wasn't the best routine for you. You want to see me get up out of this chair right now? I, I can't. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I literally cannot. I figured. Tony put me here. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna stay here for the rest of the day. Well, good luck with that. Up top. Yeah, I don't think. Okay. I'm not going to say it. All right, I'll say it. Maybe you should have. Satire. A satire. It's satire. I'm so sick of the Rub. hobos, my ex-wife, maybe the guy from AWOL Nation should have done it. <laughs> you know, it's just classic satire. We said it in another video, but it is insane that this song is playing everywhere. Yes. And just a guy going, Maybe I should kill myself. I'm picturing like my poor mother at an Applebee's and she's like whistling along and she doesn't even realize what she's doing. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'll take another Michelob, thank you. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. This song, okay, first two verses, trying to be offensive, spitting in the face of like the libs. Mm -hmm. Even at one point says like another offended millennial or yeah. something, which is hilarious to me because millennials are like 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, the last little section where he's just rapping yeah. is fire. Yeah. And Rock goes, you're like Millie Vanilli, a little silly and shit. I'm like shotgun Willie, I'm smoking fillies and shit. I was like, yo. I was like, Detroit till I die, die. motherfucker. <laughs> Where does a girl push-up fall into all this? A girl push-up? You know, that has been like a conspiracy I've been wondering about for a long time. Yeah, sure. How they came up with the girl push-up and sold it to women as like an alternative. And hey. That's just not the case. Either way, I'm glad they came up with it because I love a girl and a push-up. You know what I mean? I was going to say push them girls up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's disgusting. What? It's Big bazonga hongas? There's nothing There's nothing, nothing wrong disgusting with about no, Bahamba just, chumbies. No. I <laughs> Just for some reason, the fact that you like like picturing other girls with boobs. I'm not other girls with boobs. Like when I when we say things like crankle anchors or <laughs> flappy drappies, in my mind it is literally a black background, and from the foreground comes a rack, and it is just that. Yeah. No it head, no torso. Nothing. nothing. It is a. <laughs> Yeah. And, and the edges of it, I'm describing it to you just as I'm seeing it. Just a blurry edge around it. It's kind of like this. And then it's just boobies right there. And that. But kinda, whose are they, Graydon? I don't know. Who the it's, fuck is that? It's Who the, is this? It's the universe. It's the universal. Yeah. What the hell? Cramba Drambos. I don't know. Yeah. They There's, just come floating to me. I see them. If I see you picturing her again. Don't call I'm going to find her family and I'm going to oh. tell them what's been going on. Oh, yeah. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, yeah. Stop it. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna throw up. I'm like, gonna be sick, actually. First tweet, my talent is identifying birds. Somebody responds, okay, what's this one? And they respond, yep, it's definitely a bird. Got him. <laughs> it's a perfect setup. This is very, like, 2008 <laughs> anti-humor sort of vibes. Like, it's, like, almost childish in a certain way. I love it. It's a beautiful little bird, too. I'm gonna say that's a blue-breasted titmouse. <laughs> Nothing funny about that name. <laughs> so, you just keep it moving. I'm just laughing because Grant's laughing. No, I know, yeah. I was just saying there's nothing funny about that name. So. About what name? Blue-breasted titmouse. Oh, I guess it's not funny. I don't think scientists thought it was funny when they discovered it. You're right. I don't think they did. I don't think scientists photoshopped huge avatar cans onto Minnie Mouse. <laughs> That would be wildly inappropriate for people of a professional field, such as science. And they didn't have Photoshop back then, they had binoculars. When they were writing that song, actually, they were like, should I use uh, Discord or that one? Oh, they're to, talking about the chords, the chords to for use. the songs. Yeah, the to. musician who made it. That's mm -hmm. a real conversation that happened. Yeah. Oh, that was actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also, I happen to think that song is VC, short for very cool. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool with the kid. Oh, boost the server. Yeah, well, maybe we should mute you. I get it, I get it, I get it. I gotta go get it, I gotta go get it. My team go hold up, my name go hold up, my team go hold up, my name go hold up. Bada boom, bada bing. My team go hold up, my name go hold up. Are you trying to erase your brain? I'm trying to erase my past. <laughs> I saw a hyena eat another animal at the zoo today. <laughs> Today? Yeah, broke into the penguin exhibit and shredded a few of them little penguins up. They had no chance. Okay, let me, I just have to ask a question. So far today, <laughs> you've gone golfing with Dan Marino? <laughs> Jupiter, Florida. In Florida. <laughs> yeah, the course is called Whispering Pines. And then you went to the zoo and watched a hyena devour a bunch of penguins. Yep. And then you came here to film. Yeah. It is 1.49 p.m. Eastern? Yeah. The zoo was on the west coast. The zoo was on the west coast. Yeah. The golf game was in fucking Jupiter, Florida. At Whispering Pines. And yeah. then we filmed this in Detroit. Whispering Pines actually had the the female collegiate championship there last year. It's a good track. It's public, but it, they keep it very tight. It's nice. I Gre don't care about Whispering Pines. <laughs> the greens are super true. It's almost PGA level. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to figure out your schedule. How does this work? Dan birdied three of the first four holes. He was on a heater. Yeah, I don't care about Dan. And then he had a few too many beers and he got carried away and he said some things that he might end up regretting. You know what? <laughs> what? I didn't have anything against Dan Marino before <laughs> this whole thing, Thanks. but I really hope he dies. Like, I'm serious, <laughs> and not because you're in the will you're or just, whatever you said. I don't give a shit about that. I just hope he dies, like, just jealous. soon, you know? You're just jealous. I'm not jealous of Dan Marino. You could never birdie three of the first four holes at Whispering Pines. Hole two is like a 185-yard par three over the water. Do you even have a club for that? What are you gonna hit, driver? I mean, Dan hit a six iron and he held back on it. The tone reminded me of Big Sean. Mm. Big Sean. Yeah. Wow. I love Big Sean. Did no. you know that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I am. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity to proclaim my love for Big Sean, but here I am sitting on the throne with a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people listening to me, and I'm going to scream it from the rooftops. Okay. Go up there. I love Big Sean. <laughs> I love you. No one's ever made me feel this way. I'll do anything for you. I'm just crazy about you. Thank you, Sean. Big Sean, I love you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What? What do you love about him? I love your cornrows and that you're much, much shorter than me and that your bars are so witty and that you left your wife for me. I love you, Big Sean. And thanks for taking me to Dolly World. What the hell? <laughs> Big Sean took me to Dolly World. I super liked them on Tinder. That was our first date. He is rich as fuck. Let me tell you. He flew my, he flew my yeah. ass out on a PJ straight to Dolly World. Next thing you know, we're riding wooden roller coasters through the woods. <laughs> Me and Sean, hand in hand. We were ducking and diving from the paparazzi all day, but eventually, love wins. By the time guess, this video yeah. comes out, I'm sure the relationship will be public. So. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with everything I've said and done. So far, so you can just send that out there, and I'm sure it will not spoil our budding romance. 
I thought he was with Janae Aiko. She left there because she doesn't like Dolly World. <laughs> but me, on the other hand, fuck, I'm obsessed with that place. Holy shit. I got an airbrush t-shirt, Dolly World on it. Used it as a rag later on accident, but I got it. 